My name is State Representative Esther Agbaje. I represent House District 59B, which covers downtown Minneapolis and parts of North Minneapolis. It's a pretty vibrant uh, district. It's got diversity in its economic classes and it's got diversity in its ethnic groups and racial groups and it's really just a fun place to live and I'm really happy to be their representative. My parents came to the United States in the 1980s. They both immigrated from Nigeria and they both actually came to Minnesota to attend the University of Minnesota which is where they met. I have always had jobs that were in this space of uh, helping people or ensuring that people had the resources they needed to do something better for themselves. So one thing that I was interested in was how do we help more people at once? Often that means going to a lever of government. Um, so that was why I was always keen on the idea of running for office. The opportunity arose for the 2020 cycle and I jumped at it. I was born and raised right here in Minnesota, and I am passionate about representing 59B because I want to build the most inclusive district in our state. Very big difference between campaigning and legislating. When you're campaigning, you're very full of ideas and you're full of hope <laughs> and you're full of vision, which stays with you once you start legislating, um, but there becomes now in Minnesota, we have a total of 201 legislators between our House of Representatives and our Senate. And so you are just one of 200 other people that you have to convince uh, to be able to uh, bring your idea and your constituents' ideas into fruition uh, to create policy and change. So uh, there's much more negotiating once you become a legislator. The member from Hennepin, Representative Ag Bajay. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. This pandemic has exacerbated the problems that we have in housing. And this bill, though not everything we want, will mitigate kind of the worst of those problems, particularly for people who have lost their jobs and cannot afford the rent. A lot of people talk about the pandemic saying the pandemic showed the inequalities and inequities in our society. All the pandemic did was just shine a brighter light on them. We have been dealing with a housing crisis in Minnesota for years. And that is one of the things that I actually want the state of Minnesota to be bold and step forward on how do we provide dignified, adequate housing for all members of our society. Well, I think about all the work you've done on housing in particular, just being able to see it all the way through from the mm -hmm. perspective you have is so valuable. Um, because without that, we're not going to get the solutions that people actually need. Mm -hmm. You know, me and a couple of other uh, legislators have released statements that have gone against the green of the traditional DFL leadership. Um, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I think we need all of those perspectives. So that way we're getting we're getting a real sense of what real people are dealing with. And so I think as we get more people who are, you know, people oriented, justice focused, I think that that means we can do a lot more uh, better work for the state of Minnesota. I think across the world, there are people who with less means, so less money, um, maybe people in marginalized groups in their countries who are, as they have been, standing up. I think 2020 was a big year for that, particularly with the pandemic. I think the movement in Nigeria is young people were rising up standing up against to, to want a government to work for them. Um, so I applaud their efforts. I think same with young people across the United States and across the world who are standing up and saying, you know, our rights count for something. I wholeheartedly, you know, agree with them and want them to succeed in their efforts. And I, as a young person here who is in a seat of decision making, am also working to make sure that we are doing the work to support everyday working people. As a legislator, it's definitely eye-opening to see the challenges, but also the opportunities um, across the state of Minnesota. And I think that many of my fellow legislators or decision makers, especially those with immigrant backgrounds, can also see those same challenges and opportunities. And we welcome collaboration with anyone.